you worked with Tessa Thompson. Mm -hmm. How how was it working with her? It was great. Uh, so that movie was called Little Woods, and I, I had a couple of scenes with her, and it was kind of bonkers, man, because I, at, at the time I was doing a play in Houston. It was so weird because like Houston, this this theater, they were being really intense about like me not leaving to do uh, this movie. Right. They cared about what they were doing, right? Uh, but they, it came across as sort of like, dude, there's no reason I couldn't go on a day off and do this thing and then come back, mm -hmm. right? That that's There's no reason. But they were acting like, how, how dare you take other work while, you know, I was like, come on, man, you know. So they're being sort of highfalutin and hoity-toity at that. And I go to this this set with uh, on Little Woods with Tessa Thompson and the director Nia Costa, who's gone on to do some like great stuff. Mm -hmm. and so they were both like experienced and really talented people. That was the first movie I'd ever done. Mm -hmm. And coming from this theater that was being like so into, you know, I sort of thought that when I got on set that it would be that they would that it would be fancy, right? That mm -hmm. that I would be this theater wasn't exactly. Mm -hmm. They weren't being mean or bad or anything, but they were like, they were really giving me a hard time. Mm -hmm. And I sort of thought like, well, if this theater is giving me a hard time, gosh, I bet this like big movie is oh, going to be so even harder to work with. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm working with someone who's famous. Like I knew Tessa Thompson mm -hmm. at the time, you know, mm -hmm. I, I knew of her. I mm -hmm. thought she was great. I was already yeah. a fan, you know, and I was like, I, ugh, this is just going to be a hard week at work. But then I went there mm -hmm. and like, she was so nice and the director was so nice. I came in and I had this like really intense take, mm -hmm. right? Or I was being like, I was, I was supposed to be like this kind of well-meaning man who needed pain pills mm -hmm. but i was playing him like a junkie who was gonna yeah. kill her if i didn't get it you know what i mean like uh because i wasn't supposed to have that part i was supposed to have a smaller part but i got bumped up the ranks so I, I wasn't supposed to be there so i came in i did the first take and it was just so grim you know and tesla was like Oh, okay, you know. <laughs> That's how you win. Yeah. <laughs> and the director came up and was like, so we're gonna do this instead of that. I'm like, great job, but you need to yeah. do this and that yeah, instead yeah. of that. They were both like really, really kind. Mm -hmm. And um, I sort of watched her work on set and the way that she was able to assert herself and contribute to the storytelling. Like she didn't just come on and say her lines and leave. You know, she would be there and she'd be like, oh, oh, this prop was actually in a different spot. Mm -hmm. Can someone help me keep an eye on this prop? Y you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, right. She's like engaging with the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw her work um, on, I only worked with her for like two days or something mm -hmm. like that. But on both of those days, she was really a part of the movie making and i thought if ever i was gonna idolize someone or like try to imitate them like yeah. that kind of participation in movie making and like she was so big and famous and like she remembered me when i went to the the rap party mm -hmm. you know and like i felt like I was a part of it because she was including everyone in it. Yeah. And the same thing with the director. Like the director didn't make me feel like I was some idiot who'd never been on a movie set before, which I was mm -hmm. some idiot who had never been on a movie set before. Instead, she talked to me in like a sort of calm way mm -hmm. to get what she needed. And we did. Nice. You know? yeah, yeah. That's the example that you want to give, like especially yeah. if you lead them. Like it was film. really sweet. I, I thought I thought about that recently, actually. Um, I, and I, I wrote the, the director an email and I was like, you know, I don't think it would have gotten any of the jobs that I got unless you had given me a chance. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that I would be as secure as I am on set unless you had been such a kind and sort of open leader, you know, and Tessa. And she wrote me back. She was nice. like, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm going to pass that on to the producers. That means a lot. You That's know? amazing. Yeah, it was really, it was a really lovely experience and one that I hope that to, to, like I said, imitate for if I'm ever in a position, mm. you know, to work with somebody who's less experienced or whatever to sort of to do that.